I've recently moved from a dual screen setup to a triple header. And on that dual screen setup, I originally had exported the MFCDs from the A10. What I didn't want to do with the new triple setup was use the export facility. So I thought I would uh, take advantage of snap views and set those up so I could see them clearly uh, in the screens. Here I'm just running through a few of the snap views that I've set up for the A10C. As you can see they're quite useful, they're quite large uh, and it beats having to export every single time. Center. CDU. You will have probably already noticed that I actually use voice attack as well uh, for switching the screens. Uh, I found it far simpler than keybinds, it's much easier. Uh, obviously you can do the, the, the same process that I'm going to show you in this video using keybinds, that's fine. Uh, and if anyone's interested in the voice attack variant, then I could do another video on that if you want me to. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. I utilise track IR to set up my snap views and zoom in to capture the image that I want. And basically I press pause at that particular point. Pause. Pause. To zoom in or out from your pause track IR view, utilise the backslash and star keys on the numpad. press left win and keypad 6 and that will select the current default snap view that we're going to change. When you are happy with the view that you've created press right alt and keypad 0 to save the changes that you've made. You can now Unpause the track IR view. Pause. Pause. Let's zoom back out. And now if I say TGP, I've now got a cracking view of my radar screen. TGP. Enjoy your new snap view and thanks for watching.